What is up, y'all? Welcome back to Enchanting, an edition of Enchanting Unpacking, which will be unpacking the brand new Eevee, I'm sorry, Vaporeon, Jolteon, and Flareon Evolving Skies tin. So these come with a limited edition uh, original evolution Pokemon cards. They are promo cards, three various holographics. And we kind of didn't see them in the set, so they are, um, we have them in their VMAX form, but we don't have them in a V form, so you get the V form um, in this promo set, which I'm super excited for. Uh, they just released today, Friday, September the 3rd, um, and I was able to get each one of each um, for only, for, for $25, I believe that's maybe like $5 above MSRP, if I'm not mistaken, um, at my local comic book store, which typically has incredible price points. Um, now these do come with four packs. I've seen the packs. Uh, they each are going to come with one Evolving Skies pack and you're going to get Chilling Rains, Battle Styles, and Sword and Shield. So you get one of each pack, four packs, one promo card. I'm excited to dive in. Before we continue, I know we have, um, this, uh, video is more geared towards my Pokemon aficionados, not so much my Disney aficionados, but we do have a giveaway. So let's go check that out. And don't forget about our incredible giveaway that we're having. This is for reaching 1,000 subscribers. The moment we get to 1,000 subscribers, we will be doing this incredible giveaway, which is the 100 Acre Caper Adventure Winnie the Pooh piece. Um, in order to be eligible to earn this giveaway, you must be subscribed to our channel. You must like our videos and every video that you comment under and that you share, you get multiple entries. So if you share our video, you get two entries. And for every time that you comment on any of my videos, um, uh, beginning from the months of July through, um, through once we get to the thousand subscribers, my goal is to get to a thousand by the conclusion of August. Fingers crossed with your support, we'll get there you will be receiving an entry. So you get two entries for sharing the video, share it on any of your platforms, Facebook, uh, Twitter, any anywhere on social media, uh, Instagram. And if every time you comment on any of our videos and you engage with me, you also get an entry. So this is a beautiful, beautiful piece. As you zoom in, it's one of my favorite Winnie the, Winnie the Pooh Jim Short pieces ever made. It's this beautiful tree bark, Winnie reaching inside the tree to gather some honey. There's the little details with the bees and then you have his best friends, Tigger, Piglet, and Eeyore, all supporting him on this venture. It is absolutely adorable, and I can't wait for someone to earn this. So may the odds forever be in your favor, and let's get back to our video. Thanks. Uh, if you haven't watched my previous video, uh, first off, I cannot wait to see who's gonna who's gonna earn that incentive. Um, that giveaway, sorry, incentive. Here I am thinking I'm speaking to my team. <laughs> Who's going to earn that Winnie the Pooh giveaway? Uh, we will be doing a Pokemon giveaway as well, so stay tuned. After we reach 1,000, we're going to do one for 2,000, and we're going to keep doing that. We're always going to have giveaways here. Aside from that, um, don't forget to subscribe below. And when you subscribe, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I have incredible polls. I'm actually going to be uploading those photos this weekend. So by the time this video uploads, you'll see those on Instagram as well. I got, honestly, I think we got God boxes. Uh, we opened an entire case, so go check that video out as well. I'll link that video in the description below. Um, that was amazing. We got the alternate art, uh, full art, um, Rayquaza Secret Rare VMAX, which was, I mean, out of this world, the, the, God, the best card to pull in the set. We pulled it on that video. So go check it out. It was incredible. The pull rates were amazing on that case slot. And we also opened up one ETB. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to zoom y'all in and we are going to dive in. Awesome. So we got our card sleeves. Let's go ahead and dive in. So fair warning, my ring light burned out. I had a flooding here in my collector's room. Uh, think that we had a, I live in New York City and we had a, you know, we had a hurricane Ida that swung by us and it was intense. And thank God, though it was a flooding, nothing was damaged. Oh, so blessed for that. Um, nevertheless, the only thing that did damage was I had my um, ring light power cord on the floor and that did blow out. So the next few videos, we will not have a ring light, but hopefully we can make two. So let's start off first with the Jolteon tin. We're also babysitting Teddy again. He's back this weekend for Labor Day weekend because his dad and mom went camping and he's not allowed on the camping site. 
right, Teddy? So let's go ahead and dive in. So this is the Jolteon tin. Now this one's a little different. It comes with this cardboard uh, situation and you are going to receive your code card. And here he is. I'm kind of scared to even remove this. It's like, I wanna, what do we do here? Do we tear this? Like I'm afraid here. <laughs> I don't like this at all. So I'm, I just tore that and I'm gonna pull it out. So I'm noticing on the edges here, on the edges here and here where it's held, there is like a hollow bleed and I feel like that's from like bumping. So like good luck getting this in at 10. Uh, centering is it's all right. It's not the best. It's heavier to the left. So there you have it. Bloop. Actually, we're going to go ahead and put Jolteon in a hard sleeve. All the promos. And then you're going to get four packs. Evolving Skies, Chilling Rains, Battle Styles, and Sword and Shield. We're going to open them in this order from worst. Though I would go ahead and say a Chilling Rains is probably the worst set we've had in a long time. And we'll save Evolving Skies to the end. Alright, so let's go ahead and dive into Sword and Shield base set. We will be doing the card trick. Looks like we didn't get a pull there, which I think is four. I could be wrong. I'm right. Yay, this four. <laughs> Leaf Energy, Bisharp, Energy Switch, Linoon, Nicket, Score Bunny. I, I'm reading upside down. Pawnard, Pawnard, Mulberry, Marshoot, Hitmonchan. Hitmon, Hitmonchan. Wow, JP, it's been forever. Hitmonchan. Reverse Uncommon Hollow. Womp womp. Now we're going to go ahead with Chilling Rains. Four cards is the trick as well. Now, oh wow, these are the last three cards right here in the back are massively scratched, but the fourth card, which is the rare, is not. So let's hope for something awesome. And maybe I did that wrong, but let's see. Sneasel, Farfetch, Shviel. Yeah, I did do that wrong. Um, Fall Crystal and Ushifu. Hello. Yeah, looks like it's five cards. I didn't know that. I mean, it's considered a hit. So we'll take it. We got an Urshifu V. Now, Battle Styles. I think the card I really want from Sword and Shield is that alternate art Blaziken. Oh, he's so sexy. I think it's really the only card that I would want from this set. Battle Styles, I think there, I have the alternate art Urshifu V Max where he's sitting down, like meditating. I think that's like one of my favorite cards. And I pulled that out in my very first booster box. I, the first two packs, I pulled that out, Secret Rare, and I pulled out a Houndoom uh, Gold Card Secret Rare. In this set... Is that correct? That was correct. In this set, I'd like to pull out that other Urshifu. There's another alternate art Urshifu. I think it's a V. I forget what it is, but I don't have that one. Onyx. Zubats. Oh, like Tribe and oh, there we got it. I'll take it. We got a hit. A Corvenai. A Corvenai, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we got a reverse hollow rare. So I will take that. And a Corvenite, sorry. Corvenite V. And we will take it. And lastly, Evolving Sky. So um, really one of the, either a Rayquaza, Rainbow, Full Art, Secret Rare or something I'd want, or the Umbreon, uh, the Umbreon VMAX looking towards the moon. Oh, such a gorgeous card. 
and I believe it's four. I'm honestly not sure. It is four. Metal Energy Lombre. C dot Lilipop. Baggin. Litleo. Lotad. Shopping Center. Yeah, okay. Honestly, this is a great box. And we got a Gorlick V. I mean, no one wants a Gorlick, but I'd rather this than get nothing. So I think that's pretty awesome for the very first tin. I think we did great there. Um, I cannot complain. I think that was a great value. Um, so yay. Next, we're going to go with Flareon. Now, Jolteon was my least favorite of the three evolutions, followed by Flareon, and Vaporeon was always my favorite. I always had water and colorless decks. So, here is the Flareon tin, by the way, if you want to look at it more up close. And we get a code card. We're going to peel this back. Pull. And this is the Flareon uh, Single Strike promo card. Again, four packs. We're going to start from worst to best. This is our ourselves here a little better sure. so let's start with sword and shield first four cards dark energy pokey kid quillfish Dubal, gasoline Oh, what a cutie pie. A Minichip and a Snorlax. Followed by Chilling Rains. Uh, we want that Blaze again. Alternate art so badly. I will say the art pack on the Chilling Rain set is absolutely gorgeous. Or we can go with that alternate art uh, Moltres too. That's a sexy card. I don't think we have that one either. It looks like five cards was the trick. It's supposed to be four. Yeah, it was four. Just that the other pack for some reason was five. <laughs> Fire energy, Kakuna. Trainer, Trainer, Diglett, Inkley, Full Corona, and we did get a Hattery. Um, Hollow. So far, we're not doing too bad. We're tied. Can we pull out two Vs here, or V Max Pluses? Ideally a secret rare. How amazing would that be? And we have pulled those out before in some of the tins I've opened in the past. So I just saw the code card. Doesn't look like we have anything exciting here. We have a reverse rare Drampa, which is a sexy looking card. And finally, Evolving Skies. Four cards. 
Water Energy, Lantern, Spirit Mass, Gordile, Sabli, Carvana, Emolga, Slackoff, Glossopar. Oh, yeah, baby! We got a Gardos V Max. That's exciting. We already have this card, but I will take this over a V. I would have preferred the, I think there's an alternate art of Gyarados, or if not a secret rare of Gyarados Rainbow, if I'm not mistaken. So honestly, I do think that the second box was better because we did get a VMAX. Honestly, these tins, I'm not mad at them. I'm not mad at them at all. Now I did see Leon Hart open these, I think two days ago, and the pull rates were awful. And Pokey Rev the other day, he opened up 3,000 packs of Evolving Skies from Booster Packs, and the pull rate was absolute trash. I was like, what is going on here? I was tuning into that YouTube live stream, and I was like, yo, this is tragic. This one guy bought six boxes and got absolutely nothing. Nothing. I think like one secret rare, which was like a basic secret rare. It was so tragic. Um, and I can only imagine that if, if either Leon Hart or Pokerev are um, opening up packs for me and you're purchasing from them, the markup value must be a little bit more pricier So than MSRP. Um, but the pull rates were sad. And I have to say I've been very uh, blessed with our pull rates from last video and this one. Um, what was very tragic was Chilling Rains. Chilling Rains was not a fun set to open up at all. This is my favorite of the three evolutions. Vaporeon, he is just adorable. Look at that. I love the water splash. I love the fire and the flame. I'm noticing that now as I look at this Vaporeon. I love that you can see their elements on these V cards. We will hard, uh, we're gonna put a hard sleeve on these in a moment when I'm done with the video. And again, if you wanted to see the Vaporeon tin artwork, it's adorable. Bloop, 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 bloop. So let's start with Sword and Shield. We have a Lapras. This is a different type of Lapras because he has like this like cannon on his back. I don't know what form of Lapras this is. Four, Dark Energy, Hop, Score Bunny, Diglett, Goldeen, ooh, that Cloister is sexy, and a Cinch, that's, a, that's an adorable card, but this Cloister is gorgeous. It's a reverse uh, rare Cloister, that is gorgeous, wow, that is a gorgeous looking reverse. Next, we have the Galarian Zapdos artwork for Chilling Rains. Again, we want that Blaziken or that Galarian Moltres. That would be epic. Four cards. Oh, Dark Energy again. Drizzle, Honey, Inklay, Diglett, Score Bunny, Shove It, Tapu, Fuyi. Okay, Reverse. This is a reverse rare. Now Sword and Shield. Can we get that alternate art Ushifu? I don't think so because the call the card the code was a green code card. We got a Steelix. We'll take that. I mean at least the reverse. The, the reverse um, uh, cards have all been rares, which is pretty awesome. And finally, the last pack. Can we pull some magic? Because this so far has been the worst tin. Can we pull a secret rare? Or an ultimate art? Oh, what will we pull? Four cards. Psychic Energy, Shogun, Swobat, Lombre, Hippopotas, Zorut, Psyduck, Rufflet, Drowsy. No! It 
it is safe to say that we that that third box was nothing but duds. <laughs> Nevertheless, this was exciting. Um, I I think it was. I mean, the Vaporeon was a dud, but still. Nevertheless, I think the VMAX guy does. I think that that was a good box. Even the first box was good. So overall, is it worth the MSRP price? MSRP price of nineteen ninety nine. I think so. Is it worth anything more than twenty twenty four ninety nine? No, I would not pay more than twenty four ninety nine because you're getting. I mean, Sword and Shield and Battle Styles and Chilling Rains are. Com I mean, you can still find these booster packs anywhere. They're still $14, $4, sorry, each retail value. So, you know, and right now the blister pack, they, they had blister packs, by the way. My comic book shop had the new blister packs of Evolving Skies, and those were $4 too. So that's $16. And then the promo itself, you know, you're getting it for 4 bucks, nineteen ninety nine. dollars I think that's a great deal. Up to $25, I think, is a great deal. I wouldn't purchase more than, um, I wouldn't pay more than $25 for it in my personal experience. So I hope y'all uh, found value in this video um, and looking at the pull rates. Overall, again, $20, $25, absolutely. Don't pay more than $25 MSRP. Thank you so much for tuning in. Keep checking us out. We'll have more Pokemon content as we um, continue throughout the channel. We're going to have some Pokemon giveaways. When we get to the 2000, when we get to 1,000 subscribers, the next giveaway will be Pokemon. So thank you so much, and I will catch you all on the next one. Bye.